What's up, travelers? So behind me is the Grand Cafe uh, Gambrinus, which is by far the oldest coffee shop here in Naples, Italy. So one of the things that you need to try when you come here to Naples is an ancient pastry called Cori di Sfagliatella. We're gonna go here and check it out because this is the oldest location that has served this pastry. All of Naples, possibly even Italy. It's right here in Giobaldi Square. If you come here, beware of the pickpockets because they're everywhere. This is the area where I got my passport stolen. So yeah, be, be wary here. Let's go check it out. I got something that's ancient here. We are at Cori di Sfagliatella. The Sfagliatella is an ancient pastry where they take fila dough and they just keep making it thinner and stretching it, pulling it over and over until they get like a thousand layers. And then they put some filling in it and then they roll it up and then they bake it. That's what this is. I've got two of them here. I got one that's filled with coconut and one that's chocolate. I tried to get one with strawberries, but they are out of season apparently. That's one thing about Italy. If it's out of season, you ain't getting it. So let's go ahead and jump right into this coconut one here. Mm. That was way too big of a bite. <laughs> mm. Mm. It's so crunchy. And then that coconut flavor in the middle is just a delight. So here's what the inside of it looks like. It doesn't look very special, but believe me, it's flavor is. I also got a fresh squeezed orange juice. This thing's really good. So after this bite, I'm going to move on to the chocolate one. So I'm going to keep this kind of short. Mm. Mm. Look at that. That's chocolate and cream. Built all the way in. They gave us a spoon for this one, so. Nope, that don't work. <laughs> so let's, uh, let's turn it over and go at it from this angle. That. It's like the greatest pudding ever. <laughs> There's something cool about this place. Not only are they the oldest place in town for, for this kind of a pastry. In 2018, they achieved the Guinness Book of World Records largest spagliatella 
and history. So the deeper we get down into this, we get we get some uh, looks like some cake. Mm. Yeah, maybe a little bit of rum in there. <laughs> this thing is a dream come true, man. <laughs> it's a good thing I didn't really find out about these until yesterday. So I think this one was was three euros forty cents, and the other one was two euros fifty cents not sure what the orange juice costs and I would say that if you're ever in Naples definitely will want to come to this place it's right next to the train station and the bus station so it's pretty easy to get to Behind me is the Grand Cafe Gambrinus, which is by far the oldest coffee shop here in Naples, Italy. And the history in there is unbelievable. You have had people such as Oscar Wilde and Ernest Hemingway spend their days just watching the day go by while they're doing their work and writing and thinking about their philosophies and things like that. And that happened right behind me. So let's go get a cup of coffee. Welcome to Grand Cafe Gambrinus. I knew that this place was going to be a, a pretty big deal, but I had no idea that it was going to be this grand of a, of a place to go. I mean, this place was just originally a coffee shop, and uh, wow. So, like I already mentioned, outside the, the people like Oscar Wilde and Ernest Hemingway had been here, but also Sigmund Freud, 
Luciano Pavarotti, Angela Merkel, and just countless other famous customers have been through these doors over the last 130 years. And it's just an unbelievable thought to say, you know, these guys may have, these people may have been sitting right where I'm sitting right now. This is definitely a tourist trap. A shot of espresso is four euros, 50 cents here. Just to come and sit in a, in a place that's this fancy, alone that is worth the price of admission right there and we don't even know how good the coffee is at, at this point So I got my Cafe Espresso Neapolitan here, and uh, yeah, it's just a single shot, there's not much to go here, but this is one of the most popular drinks in all of Naples, so let's go ahead and stir the crema into this. Cheers. That's nice. That is really nice. That tastes like I just bit into it. Like an 85% cacao chocolate bar. Oh man. It's sweet and bitter at the same time and just then it doesn't even have any of that, that citrus flavor to it. Yeah that's good. That is really good. And just like that it's gone. <laughs> What am I tasting in there? Well, definitely chocolate. Maybe even some gingerbreads going on in there. It's kind of an interesting flavor. Uh, it's got the sweetness of like honey in there. And, and, and it's got the bitterness of like a pomegranate. And it's a, that's a really good cup of espresso right there. Yeah, that, that was just to imagine the, the people the people who have been here it was totally worth coming here and experiencing that shot of espresso just because of that and then on top of that the espresso is fantastic like subscribe tell your friends hit that bell button so you know when i post another video but as always sit exquisitely This video out here, we're going to go to the most recent series that we have playing right now on Tasting Travel. And down here is another video that you might be interested in. Click right here to subscribe. And if you're in Seattle, put it back in the And as always, eat great food.